In 2020, it was reported that Harry Styles had forked out about four million pounds on a third home in the celebrity enclave of Hampstead in London, right next to an eight million pound property he bought in 2019. All of this has led us to believe Harry is creating his own mini compound or mega mansion in London as he will likely carry out more renovations and combine the properties. While working across the pond in LA, Harry has also been living in a Hollywood house with his boo Olivia Wilde. While filming, Harry has been staying at a humble yet charming abode in Laurel Canyon, and it didn't take long for Olivia to move in with him. Today, we'll check out a few of the spots that Harry calls home. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Harry Styles is a singer, a songwriter, and actor who hails from the UK and rose to fame as a member of the boy band One Direction. His music career began in 2010 on the series The X Factor, where he was chosen to join One Direction and went on to become one of the best selling boy bands out there. Harry's solo music career has also been super successful, debuting his first album in 2017, which came out on top at number one, with more hit singles and albums to follow. At the time of this recording, Harry's amassed himself a net worth of about $80 million, which will likely only keep climbing. While he's buying up real estate in the UK, Harry bought his first property there when he was only 18, spending almost 3 million pounds. Then in 2019, he added on to his portfolio, singing a five bedroom Georgian style mansion across the road, and more recently purchased an early 18th century villa for over 4 million pounds. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer here for you with another exclusive house tour on Famous Entertainment. While we reported on Harry Styles' homes back in the day, it was time for an update because he's been purchasing and living in some amazing spots from London to Hollywood and even New York City. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Before we get into Harry's compound in the UK, I know you fans of Harry and Olivia Wilde want to see where they've been living as a couple. Since the beginning of this year, the pair has been heating up and their relationship seems to be getting serious pretty fast. Around Valentine's Day, Olivia was spotted moving her suitcases from the LA home she shared with her ex-husband to where Harry has been living in Hollywood. If you're wondering, Harry has had a temporary pad to call home in LA this year, which is surprisingly humble. While filming Don't Worry Darling, the upcoming film which Olivia actually directed, and the set on which the couple met, Harry has been living at the Hollywood Hills abode of his manager and friend Jeff Azoff, who allegedly lent him the home. Azoff purchased the home in 2014, and it's located in the upscale Laurel Canyon neighborhood of the Hollywood Hills, so Harry and Olivia are close enough to their work. It costs about $1.3 million and sits on a 6,336 square foot lot. Charming abode is tucked away behind private gates and inside boasts three bedrooms and two baths. While it isn't a sprawling mansion, the house is an oasis surrounded by peaceful greenery. The mid-century home that Harry and Olivia are shacking up at was built in 1952 and has been updated since. According to LA property records, it's only changed hands three times in 30 years without ever actually hitting the market. The home, which spans 1,378 square feet of space, offers many French doors that open up to the pool and hot tub area, which is probably the feature of the property. Beautiful windows and skylights are among some of the other bonuses around the house. The combination kitchen and dining area seems to be pretty basic, with limited living and eating space, but it should be enough for the couple. The home is not what you would expect from the usual luxurious celebrity style properties, especially considering Harry spent multi millions of dollars on his own real estate across the pond. However, the backyard in the Laurel Canyon house is an oasis of fun and relaxation, offering a flat yard, swimming pool, and hot tub. There are also some lounging areas out back furnished with comfy seating, whether you want to tan or unwind with a book. Regardless of its size, I think the house Harry's staying at is cute and charming. 
Now let's head across the pond and see what Harry's doing in the UK. Last year, the pop star spent four million pounds on a third home in the posh enclave of Hampstead, London, next door to one of his other homes. Hampstead is an affluent residential community, long loved by academics, artists, and celebrities alike. Hampstead Heath has meadows, woodland, and swimming ponds, as well as gorgeous city views from Parliament Hill. With Harry buying up real estate here, it's sparked speculation that he may follow in the footsteps of his buddy Ed Sheeran, who's built his own little village in Suffolk, and we think Harry may be creating one large compound as his London base. In two years, Harry had spent a whopping 12 million pounds on two homes, another one which he acquired next door to the latest back in 2019 for 8 million. However, he bought his first digs in the area when he was only 18 for about 3 million pounds. So let's take a look at what we know about the first house he bought on the street. Back in 2012, Harry snagged his first London bachelor pad, which he still owns, and back then they called it Harry's Party Palace. At the time, Harry was still a teen, so it was surely super exciting for him to have a big house all for himself. The star spent a few million pounds for the large home located in the North London area of Hampstead Heath, which we now know he's staying put at. Harry's first London property clocks in at 2,300 square feet and has four beds and three baths, which are spread across three floors. In 2019, Harry splurged even further with the purchase of an 8 million pound Georgian style mansion located across the road from the first home, which he bought outright. This abode is much bigger, boasting five bedrooms and plenty of space throughout. Listing photos depicted the property looking slightly outdated in terms of interior design with Liberace inspired furnishings and a homely vibe. Harry's Georgian property fronts a white stucco design, and the previous owners decorated much of the interior in a faux Regency style with a ton of chandeliers and similar dramatic details. The grand sitting room offers floor to ceiling windows and leads into the large dining room. You'll also see the curved staircase which takes you to all of the first floor bedrooms in the home. Other features of the house include a home movie theater, a games room in the basement, and a large garage with additional private parking outside. Finally, Harry's most recent purchase is a neighboring home, an early 18th century villa which wasn't listed in the open market. We do know it set him back about 4.1 million pounds. Harry has carried out plenty of renovations within his London homes, even adding his own private pub called Harry's Bar to the first property. The neighboring properties he now owns were once one big mansion before being separated into two semi-detached homes, so it's possible that Harry may be planning to combine and restore them to their former glory. The pop star is rumored to have moved to this secluded street as it's a private road not accessible to the public, and in the past, he had issues with a stalker that targeted his former abode in London. His surroundings here are fancy and airy with Hampstead Heath and the historical Kenwood House nearby. The area also features some of London's oldest pubs with the Spaniards Inn and the Flask, which is situated in a grade 2 listed building in Highgate. Let's not forget Harry owns some other real estate across the pond in New York City. A few years back in 2017, it was reported that Harry quietly bought a penthouse at a celebrity loved Greenwich Street building in the heart of Manhattan. This upscale building is in the Tribeca neighborhood and celebs like Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, as well as Jennifer Lawrence also own apartments there. Harry bought this place for around $8.35 million and it has three bedrooms, 3.5 bathrooms and spans just under 3,000 square feet of space. The building offers a ton of great features aside from the views of NYC, like a gorgeous pool and extra security and privacy away from the paparazzi. From listing photos, we can see Harry's penthouse boasts finishes like exposed beams and aged brass fixtures, which are super trendy. So after taking a look at Harry Styles' updated real estate portfolio, I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. We saw what he's been doing at his home base in London and I'm sure soon enough we'll report back with news that he's created his own mega mansion in Hampstead with his multiple properties there. We even saw the humble abode he's shacking up with his girlfriend Olivia Wilde at in Hollywood, which is cute but on the small size. At least that place has a gorgeous backyard and pool because what else do you really need in LA? What do you think Harry has planned for his mansions in the UK? If you were redesigning a mega mansion or compounds as I should call it, what features would be must haves? I would need an indoor pool because with a home that big, why not? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.